might fall his way on the edge of that French penalty area. Now Stuart Pearce there, good taker of a free kick. Knocks it in towards Lineker, just gets the touch on it, Lineker. Sinton on the far side, a throw to France. Flicked off the defender and fell for Martini as Lineker came racing in. And an excellent little ball by Batty, suddenly releasing Pierce here. There was the deflection and the sling for position there. Among them is Shearer, but it wasn't the best delivered corner by Stuart Pierce, to be honest. But it's a throw for England, which uh, Stephen is going across to take. Advantage of this one, uh, get past Kazani. And uh, Pierce going in as well, but it's a goal kick. That's been some good play to finish this off. He's got it towards Gary Lineker, and the angle is a bit too difficult for Lineker. And Sinton won't gather it up either. Stephen tries to get Lineker going again on the far side. And in the end, a corner, but that was a glorious opening there for England. Once Casani had made that mistake, Pierce will take. Palmer's up there amongst them. Again, he hasn't delivered a good one. And as a manager, that drives you up the wall, I mean. And he's got it in now, but it's real up and under, coming to this side of the field, a throw to four. Tried to cross it in, it was blocked by Blanc. But they get it to David Platt, into Lineker. Back towards Platt again, but it wasn't good enough, he didn't... Even ...with the corner. Sinton made a little run and then... Wheels away again. That was easy for Canton to get away. Walker playing it wide for Stephen. Played inside again for Pierce. Not an easy ball for him to get. Palmer up at the near post. Big rangy lad looking for that flick on. Shearer trying to get the header in. Keown is there as well. Here's Keown. Can he turn it back? Well, he gets it back as far as David Batty. Batty losing it out to Deschamps. Well, I'm sure Ron's right about stepping up a gear but England responded by stepping up a gear of their own a good play by Lineker listen this is one of the disadvantages we talk about Blanc as being a great attacking player at that moment in time he was well up the field England were 2v2 at the back an early clearance from Chris Wood a very very good ball in the post and Woods between them are rescuing England great header and a free header Cantona, who in fact makes the strike with a little dipper over the wall. Woods has got to be so alert here, and the wall as well. Cantona, and it was Pierce who got his forehead in the way of it. A yard or two off the ball there. He owes England one of these, Brian. He hasn't, to my memory, he hasn't scored too many of these for England. Well, Cohen Stewart, now's the time to deliver it. Pierce for England. Just wouldn't go in for England. A fantastic free kick again by Stuart Pearce. And it just needed to be that millimetre lower, and England would have been ahead. As Ron was saying, what a better way to show what you're made of. Well, that's one hell of a shot, isn't it? The goalkeeper's nowhere. Bruno Martini hasn't got a clue where he is. I'm a... That's that incredible Pearce shot. I wouldn't mind having a look at I wouldn't mind having a look at a game from that angle in a moment if we can see. And another corner for England. Five minutes left. Was, that was incredible agility from Keown there. He's played the little overhead one-two with Sinton. Sinton's taken a knock. Played right in there. There's the agility. Sinton coming in. And oh, the Frenchman really snapped at him, but Sinton's OK. He's on his feet. It's a Pierce corner now for England. Martini poised and alert. England very active. Palmer's up at that near post looking for the little flick on. Keown tried to come in late on that one, but the French head got there first and knocked it away. Tizzing home this afternoon might say, well, it was not the most exciting in the performance, but my goodness, they worked hard for the country today. Their victory there would certainly qualify them for the semi-finals. Remember, the top two in these two groups go forward. And there's a handshake between Pierce and Onglema, because I think Pierce knows that it wasn't Onglema who was the guilty man, it was uh, an Amaros there, good old pro there, just making sure that Pierce is okay, but it was Bowley who was.